This is the Glove 80. It is one of my favorite ergonomic keyboards. Your hand kind of nicely falls in. And it's also the first board that really did some wonders as far as my RSI in my right hand is concerned. But I think it's also important that we stress that having an ergonomic keyboard is simply not enough. You also have to update your habits. And in particular, the main habit I would like to address is related to this trackpad, which in my book is also an evil device. It really did a lot of harm on this wrist over here. Now, the first thing that you could do is you can move it to the left. Maybe you have the hand that is the least fragile. Maybe you have that be the one that uses it most. That's all fair and good, but maybe it will be better to just invest in tools such as you just don't have to use a trackpad whatsoever. And for that, I kind of want to show you a demo. One thing that I can do with this keyboard is I can program it such that I can move the mouse. So you can see I'm able to move it up and down using some keyboard strokes. But sometimes you just want to be able to have a keyboard shortcut for things that are clickable on display. And for that, there is an app called Home Row that you can install on Mac. There's a keyboard shortcut, which I have triggered to be this button over here. And whenever I'm exploring an app or a website, like what I'm doing now, I can hit this one button and you're going to see these little highlights appear. And let's see if I can actually make them bigger. Okay, so this is as big as I can make them, but what you're gonna notice is that everything that is clickable uh, in this display over here is that I can now hit a keyboard shortcut. So there's this blog post, a client feels like an upgrade. This title over here is an href element. So Homero can detect that this is indeed clickable and it does this on the entire page. And if I again were to press this keyboard shortcut, then I can now type S and then J and it's gonna mimic the mouse click. And you can see I'm off to the races, I'm off to that new page. There are some other elements I can click here now too. So I can maybe explore a tag. I can maybe also just go to the landing. Uh, all the items here that are detected to be clickable are now easily clickable. And sure, you got to invest in being able to type blindly, but oh my, this really saves a lot of tracking, which is amazing. Besides using Home Row, there's also some other apps that I find to be super useful. One of them is called Raycast. Just like before, I've got this keyboard shortcut that can trigger it. And one thing that I can do from here is window management. So one thing I can also do is I can say, well, let's toggle the full screen there. Let's maybe move this to the first two thirds of the screen. Let's maybe also create just a new window. Again, hit Raycast. Then maybe go for the last third or something like that. And lo and behold, this is kind of nice. Think of all the mouse movement that I'm preventing by doing this. Not to mention the fact that it's also just nice to have your windows neatly fit uh, along a grid. That's also definitely a good plus. So Raycast is a cool app. Uh, also check out Alfred. The two apps are very similar, but they're both great. As far as downloadable apps goes, these are the two main ones that I've found to be very helpful. From this point forward though, the main name of the game is also to just learn every single shortcut for all the apps that you use, which includes the browser. So if you wanna switch tabs real quick, there's a shortcut for that. If you wanna open up a new tab, there's a shortcut for that. If you wanna maybe type a new URL, you can have a shortcut for that on Mac, it's command L. If you wanna cycle through different browser windows, it's command and then tick, if I'm not mistaken. And in this case, it's also looping over the browser windows I have on my second screen. But the main name of the game really is to figure out all the keyboard shortcuts that you like. The hard part here usually is discovering them. But if you really wanna suffer less from wrist issues, the name of the game really just is, you gotta use this guy less. And the way to get there is to just think about, hey, what are the common actions that I typically do? And then you search as much as you can for a keyboard shortcut that does the thing that you want.